Greetings, everyone. In this episode, we're going to talk about how people observe things and how their observations are working about the people around them and about the things around them. I'm Cyrus from Nurship Association, and this is yet another video of knowing people by daily cliches. Welcome. Generally, people have different functions inside of their head, which it controls their behaviors. It means that whatever we see in people's daily life is a reflection of their inner functions. They have two types of functions inside of their head. The first two functions were the cider functions, which we talked about, the logic and the feeling. The types of logics that people can have and the types of feelings that people can have. One of those decider functions is in their control all the time. They can easily control their emotion or they can easily control their logics. But the two other set of functions that we're going to talk about is observer functions. We don't know anything about it yet, but in this episode we're going to talk about it. Talk about observer functions and how it works in people's minds. So far, we have discussed about the people that were people talkers. We know about that. And in that people talkers realm, we talked about how their logic works and how people were some sort of self-centered and how people were so humble and were, were thinking about everyone. But observation is a different thing. And what it makes a person a person and what it actually complete their behavior is the combination of their decider function with their observer function and when they decide to do something they have to think how to do it they have to observe before whatever they're gonna do so the combination of uh, a decider function and an observer function will give them the power of act and also react okay there are two types of observer functions and we're gonna just divide them into group A and group B and I'm going to tell you how group A and group B will going to react and also act. Those people who tend to only work on one thing, one career, uh, one specialty, one even partner, even in their relationships, they try to only stick with one person. And apart from that, they think internally that it's very good to become professional at one thing and not wasting your time on adding new things that you cannot become professional at it. So when they become like musicians, they only work on one particular instrument. If they become scientists, they only work on one thing and they're not adding new subjects all the time. They tend to use their previous knowledge before having a new one into their life. They can easily focus on things and not get distracted by any means. They look organized. Most of the time, I mean, like some of them that we will talk about it later, they're super, super organized. But these people, the people talkers, if they're just acting like this form of observation, they're organized. They are the people that have plans for their life and they're not living an open option one. If you just give them um, an offer like, do you want to do this? They say, it's better to tell me before deciding for doing anything because I should have a plan for that. And when they talk, you can easily understand that they're, they're not changing subjects all the time, like jumping from one subject to another like multiple times. No, they tend to stick to even a one particular conversation, finishing what they're talking and going for another category. So we call them category talkers in terms of objective personality system. There are a lot about them, which we will talk about later after finishing the series of knowing people by daily cliches. I will add more details to this form of personalities. When we say cliche wise, it means that more than 80% of the time they act like this. All right, so there are lots of other things that can affect their personality and maybe not all of them acting this much exaggerated in the way that I described and they might act more movable and flexible than that, all right? 
those people who tend to work on several things. Isn't that beautiful? If you ask them why do you always, all the time change whatever you do, they simply reply that it makes me tired to only work on one thing. I want more things. Under my observation, it feels good to work on several subjects and changing from one to another because it gives me even more flexibility to do whatever I'm doing. In their careers, they always like to, you know, work on uh, two or three subjects and projects simultaneously and finding a very good pattern in whatever they do. If they become musicians, you, you can simply see that they're multi-instrumentalists and not only a virtuoso player, a very professional one, but they can play professionally many instruments simultaneously and that's okay. And if they have a passion in science, they work on different subjects, like different sciences, still simultaneously, like feeding themselves with lots of details and information from different places and different sciences, and they can find some, some, some common points in them so they can connect them and use them all together. They're not that organized, <laughs> they're a little bit messy, and they live an open option life. It means that whatever it happens, it happens. Do you want to go a trip right now? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Don't you have any other plans? No, it's okay. I will take care of them later. Just let's go. Because it's an open option life. We don't think about it. We just do whatever that we want. They're not one of those people like the group A are the people that tend to use their previous knowledge and their previous analogies all the time for, for solving their problems. But these people are the ones who are always going to feed new information and new details from the outside world into their life. If they want to use anything in terms of things, they always like to do the variety of them. So several things, it's always better than only one thing. This was episode 5 of our series. Hope you like it. Hope you can know more people around you. And don't forget to subscribe and if you like it, you can share it and introduce my series to your friends. Thank you so much.